What's up, Will? How are you? Good. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. Living the dream, buddy. <laughs> so you just finished the Inspire course. Absolutely. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what did you like about it? How has it changed your life? Meaning, how has your life been impacted now compared to before you took the course? And would you recommend this to anyone else and why? What I liked about the course was the camaraderie between all the participants. Um, I like meeting people from all different points of the other globe and the country and being able to talk to them like real people, not having to sugarcoat or dance around any subjects. And it was the swift kick in the butt per se that I needed to get my life moving again. Um, it came at a time when I really needed to figure out what the heck I was going to do. And it just came at a very crucial point in my life. Uh, with regards to doing what? Anything and any, everything. Moving so forward. you just felt general, generally stuck in. Right. I was lost. Didn't quite know what I wanted to do moving forward. I knew I needed to do something, but I was kind of needing a little nudge in the right direction to be who I truly am and not be afraid of it anymore. So why weren't you able to do that before taking Inspire? Growing up, you know, I wasn't able to express who I was as a person. Um, it wasn't allowed in my household. It was, I, I was told I was wrong and, you know, I was unlovable by my parents and my father being a Navy guy, expressing one's feelings was not permitted. And, you know, you, you did what mom and dad told you to do and nothing less. And if you didn't live up to the expectation, which I didn't, it created havoc in the hustle. So. And so after taking Inspire, you started to recognize that it was okay to be your true self and that it's okay to share what really matters to you in a safe place, which then, how has it impacted your life? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm a thousand percent more confident with myself, um, loving myself, loving life again. Um, I'm able to express myself without fear of retribution and being able to go through life happy and not being afraid any longer to step out of the box and put myself out there. And so like every week we would meet and do our group coaching calls every Sunday, right? And so I guess kind of walk us through, through actually what the program is and what are the exercises that helped you start to have a different mindset and view on life that allowed you to overcome some of these, these uh, limiting mindset beliefs that kept you stuck in the past. We had to create more or less a movie as our, uh, of our life and watching it play out and what it was versus what it could be. And then, you know, the meditation techniques that um, you taught us and listening to everybody else's story, we were kind of all in the same boat, um, being stuck, being, you know, nowhere to go and just needing a little nudge in the right direction with that loving but caring but stern hand just direct and honest correct yeah and when you say movie it's a, uh, essentially a life script where correct. you're actually writing your own life script your act one your act two your act three correct so with your act three and you when i when i do these exercises and encourage you to imagine what your life would look like your dream life and your dream life script, it helped open up your, your maybe your uh, imagination or your perception of what was possible for you in your life, right? Absolutely. Um, it brought a whole different perspective on life. Um, thinking, thinking in a way of things I never thought of before, that I can achieve what I wish and what I desire and that I can be happy. I can be lovable. 
mainly by myself. That's huge. Exactly. Because when we love ourselves, then it everybody else can love you. That message out to other people that we are lovable and uh, and it's all a lot of it's subconscious and it's in those blind spots where we're not even aware of it. And that's what the course is designed to do as you've, you know, just have experienced shining lights on those blind spots that make us realize that, Oh, that was, I didn't realize that's how I viewed myself. Right. Yep. So it's like, sh- like holding up a mirror to, to each and every one of us where at first it may be uncomfortable, but then once you start to, to really look at it for what it is, you're like, you know what? It's not that bad. And I can do this. And yep. all those limiting beliefs were basically just old beliefs that were essentially implanted upon us since, you know, growing up from our parents, our teachers, wherever, wherever our geography is. And uh, it's great to see that you've been able to take those tools and run with it. And since you've done so, what does the future look like for Will Wagner now that you've taken on and, and implemented these tools? Well, I'm now implementing my own brand of restaurant, soon to be Inferno's. And with that, I plan to take it to a whole new level of entertainment centers with a casino and a hotel and several different restaurants and just keep pushing forward, handing that down to my family as I keep go through life and keep just keep pushing forward and trying to teach others to come out of their shell. And it's okay to be you. It's okay to be different. And it's okay to be, to stand out in the crowd and not be afraid. And it's not just okay. It's amazing when we yes. truly embrace Absolutely. who we are. And, and when we do, amazing great things come out of it, which is exactly what you're doing. Yep. Which is really awesome to see. When you believe in yourself and you care enough about yourself and you love yourself, anything is possible. Well said, Will. I couldn't have said it any better. But thanks for being a part of all of this. And uh, it's great that you're now forever a part of this community. So I can't wait till Inferno's is all set up and done and we can go down there. And I don't eat meat, but you can hopefully have some uh, an amazing sea bass on the menu. And uh, absolutely. And we can have a big sea party. Bass and salmon. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Will. You're welcome.